in uh, this video I will show you how I struggle with the, the luggage, um, how I do the packing and yeah. what I'm bringing with me. Three week, 8,000 kilometers ish. Let's go. All right, so now packing our personal stuff into uh, the back here. So what I'd like to do is that I have for these uh, seven zip locks, um, one for each day. Put this one in here. There we go. And uh, that's it. Put the shoe and close it. Oops. So, as I will be traveling with a lot of uh, camera equipment, or at least a GoPros and drone, what I've dedicated this pannier for, if you uh, Move it down here. So this pannier will be the, um, the the equipment, camera equipment pannier, and uh, I made this little padding at the bottom because we are going on some rough roads in Ukraine. So everything that bounces around will bounce around. I have this bag for my um, for the drone. Um, mccases.com is where I got that one from and it's just like that I'm hoping that this bag will secure the drone while on the road let's close it down so this one that's the idea goes into here and I have this one this is a case that came with some GoPro it's actually a quite cheap one it's already almost broken but I think it will serve the purpose for now and its purpose is really to upside down is the uh, cables, the chargers and, and various electronical equipment. Um, so this charge is very convenient, it has 10 um, 2.4 amps um, outputs. So the idea is that this one goes right in here it takes a little bit of squeezing but not too much squeezing because if you squeeze it too much this one will bend a little bit and I'm afraid that this will not be watertight if it bends too much so this is a side with the uh, with the equipment Let's see how it fits into it doesn't fit completely though. Ah, crying out loud. Close that one. So, I guess that's it. That's uh, me being packed for three weeks. What else do I need? What have I missed? Because let me go and check my uh, checklist. So here's my checklist, passport, registration yep. certificate, yes I do, green card, does it cover the countries, I'm gonna do personal items, socks on, yeah, seven, jeans and pants, I got two, light shoes, no, I forgot those, so where will they fit? This one maybe. A jacket. I'm always getting to the point where I need my top box, to be honest. The drone takes up so much space. I think I need to revisit the entire packing strategy here. Damn it. I wanted to only ride with two panniers, left and right, and not the top box. But um, the drone that I have with the case 
it um, it just takes up, up too much space so I have to um, realize that I need to use I need to bring the uh, the top box with me as well um, so let me show you what I got so I ended up using my uh, let's see if you can get a decent view so these are just some foam pads and and this is this is the the drone uh, I want to keep the top as as light as possible yeah and obviously they they don't weigh anything so the drone is in here and I have to fix it so it doesn't move because I know that when once we get into uh, Ukraine the roads will be very very bumpy and everything that that can move around will move around and and uh, if it can break in that process it it, it will yeah, so I don't have any padding under it neither on top of it and I'm hoping that is it high so it doesn't bump too much up and down doesn't have too much of a up and down movement um, it certainly does not have back and forward movement here um, maybe a little bit to the side but I'm not too worried about to the side it's more like back and forward and up and down um, we will have to see how it turns out uh, if it it will bump up and down yeah definitely will bump up and down oh well that's what it's like right now so this is my um, Companion with the personal all my clothes and personal stuff all the stuff that I have to bring to the hotel rooms But I am always also ending up Having ow for f sake I'm doing it all the time. I'm gonna ah, bang. so I Haven't filled it this one up yet. Um, I don't know if I will maybe I need to take a little bit from from the other one um, to this one um, so that I can even out the weight distribute it better and we'll see I got some electronic uh, gadgets that I need to put in this one with you know chargers and stuff like that so that takes up a little weight so we'll see but that's how it is right now um, and here's the rig I mentioned I think I mentioned that I had hoped not to bring the uh, top box but it's not such a big deal to be honest it'll be fine it will be fine so my uh, three week travel 8,000 kilometers ish it will take me from uh, Malmö where I'm right now through um, the eastern part of Germany that will be on highways because we need to be in, in, in Czech Republic in uh, Detenice at the restaurant at 5 p.m. in the afternoon next day uh, through Czech Republic then Slovakia just crossing the border into Ukraine after a couple of days in Ukraine we will enter Moldova where we will be visiting some riders from Moldova look very much forward to that from uh, Moldova into Romania where we will be riding those the mandatory routes Transfer Garrison, Transalpina from there into Serbia through Serbia into Bosnia we will be visiting some of the uh, Balkan memorial sites Croatia summer residents of Tito ex-Yugoslavic ruler then uh, Slovenia and then in Italy we'll be staying at the same hotel for a week meeting with some other guys and, and do day journeys um, and after that week uh, back home uh, via Prague and uh, that's that's it that's uh, three weeks I'm guessing 8,000 kilometers ish um, so it'll be cool I'm looking so much forward to it if I hadn't said it already um, I won't be posting any uh, YouTube videos for that time I will wait with that until I get home and collect all the videos that I got from the trip uh, along the way I will be posting on my Facebook page called Backroad Motorcycle Adventures and also on uh, Instagram uh, backroad.life uh, I will put the links in the description It'd be very cool if you would follow me on those medias during the, uh, the trip as well until I get back on YouTube, have a fantastic summer. Uh, enjoy whatever rides you are about to 
go to, go on to. Um, yeah, have fun.